Hi guys, it's Miss Heidi again. I am excited to share with you a really fun craft that I like doing at home. It's called stamp art. And there are a lot of really cool, unique ways that we can make stamps to paint with. Um, another one thing I wanna remind you of is this really cool trick I have where I put uh, my saran wrap or uh, a, a large trash bag that I, I cut open and lay it out on my table. And that makes cleaning up easy after crafts. Uh, I've already even done one craft on this and I wiped it up and I'm ready to do another one. So uh, another really good tip for before you start doing crafts, especially if they involve anything super messy like paints, is to find an old shirt, um, put that on the kids backwards uh, if that helps and that way you're keeping the outfit they're wearing clean and anxiety free. So the first thing I want to show you guys today about stamp art is remember that all of these crafts you can do on a really cute note card um, in order to send to a friend or family member. Decorate the front or decorate the inside, let it dry and um, that's something that someone would really love to get from your child. So the first stamp I wanna to make to you with you guys today is one of my favorite ones. So I just found a piece of cardboard lying around the house uh, and that's how we're gonna start with some hot glue because um, I want that to dry before we start using it as, as a stamp. So I'm just cutting um, small rectangular pieces of this cardboard <clears throat> to show you guys how to do this one. Um, and then I'm gonna cut some strips so I can show you how to do the next one since I already got my scissors out and ready to go. Um, let me do one more little strip here. So the first one that I wanted to show you guys is, here, I'll cut that in half. You can easily take a piece of the cardboard and I have my hot glue gun here already and we're gonna make some really fun dots on this and those will make for a really cute design. You can also um, decorate this, you know, with letters for your kid's name. If their name's A, do a fun A, and they can stamp with that. Um, if you don't have a hot glue gun at home, you can easily just uh, glue with regular glue, some googly eyes, um, anything that sparks that imagination. So I'm making some dots here that will make for a really cool stamp inside some, some paint or I also have here a stamp pad that you can use. This is a jumbo one, but um, the stamp pad also eliminates a lot of the mess that comes with the painting activities. So there's one stamp that I made with a bunch of dots. That's gonna look fun. I'm gonna let that dry. Another fun stamp that I like to make is um, stripes. So I'm gonna actually cut this one one more time thin. And I like to get these, you can either make these stamps with the kids or you can get them ready beforehand. Um, and that's a lot of fun too, because then you're all ready to go with your crafts. So I'm gonna glue on some of these stripes and that's gonna make for a really cool stamp as well. Let's see here. One, two, three, and four. And that's a really cool stamp that's gonna make some fun marks on the paper when we're ready to go. Another fun thing, if you don't have the hot glue gun, again, and you wanna make um, a fun um, stamp, is I like to take some yarn, and the kids can do this one, I'll cut some yarn. I can't believe this is the only yarn I have left. It's Christmas yarn. <laughs> but I'm using what I got in my craft cupboard. So I've got some yarn here and I will tape the back with a piece of my masking tape that I have so conveniently placed in front of me. Um, and then I will wrap around the cardboard lots of different times all over. Or you can just do um, little teeny circles and then I'm gonna retape the back. And that is a fun stamp that we can put fun marks on paper with. Um, again, that's super fun that the kids can make. Um, for stamping, I probably put even more 
of that yarn on there. Um, and then, so those are some fun stamps that I like to make. We can get even more creative here. I have, um, I have some fruit that I wanted to show you how I make um, some really cool stamps out of. Now, when I was a kid, my mom and I would, um, we would cut the potato in half. I'm not gonna cut this one yet because this is for dinner soon, but we would cut it in half and then she would draw a really fun design um, on the inside and we would carve that out and make a really fun stamp. So again, you know, my name was Heidi, so we would carve a very easy H in there and I could put some stamps on a card uh, to send to my grandma and that was a really fun activity. Um, but this, I'm gonna show you this one with an apple. That's a lot of fun because the inside of an apple can make a very um, ooh, cool design. You can either cut it this way or you can cut it sideways. And if you are very careful, you can even cut a little handle in here. I'm cutting down on either side of the stem, not all the way down, if you can see that. And then I'm going to cut very carefully into that line. And I'm gonna make a snack for my kid <laughs> or myself. And I'm gonna make a handlebar that makes a very cute stamp for the kids. And it makes it super exciting too. Um, now, as you can see, I've left on the stem. Those are extra fun. Um, but if you wanted, you could cut like a little flower design in here. Um, I'll show you how I do that. I kind of cut close to the edge, but not all the way through on both sides. Um, and then I can cut a really, oh, a really fun design around there and take that off. So those are some really cool extra stamps that I like to use. And I have, now I have an extra snack for when I'm done with my activity. Um, so one other really cool stamp that I used to make for my son when I was a kid is um, with wine corks or any kind of cork, really. I would take them and I would find a cute little um, picture. I would take the hot glue gun and draw some lines on there or I would glue a little felt um, fun design. I don't know if you can see these ones, but these are ones that I made for my son out of uh, a cork uh, from a bottle when he was younger. Here's the moon. And I had some, uh, uh, some styrofoam that I cut and I glue it right on to these stamps here. This one's a star. I don't know if you can see that one. And we made um, some nighttime art with, with those, with our stamp pad. So that is another really fun, cool activity you can do when you're making stamps and looking for something fun to paint. I want to show you guys if this is ready now, if this one that I glued on is, oh, it looks like it's ready. I want to show you the really cool design that it makes on the paper. Let's see, it will get some of it off here. And it will make these cute little bumps so was my thumb, <laughs> but it's a fun way to put some marks on the paper. Here's the lines that I made. I'll show, oh, I threw it. I'll show you what those end up looking like with a little bit of paint here, kind of get some fun colors together, spread them around. And then I've got some really cool lines. Um, so abstract art, I love this one. Um, and then here we are with the the string the yarn kind of press that here in the paper and that uh, in the paint and that makes some really cool lines um so again do the first letter of your kid's name or just some really fun lines um i'll show you what this the moon and the star looks like it's really cool there's the moon and then my star um, and then when I'm all done with this activity, I'm just gonna throw away <laughs> the plastic wrap. So here's my little star. Oop, it moved. Oh, there we go. So I hope you guys liked learning with me about all these cool, fun stamps you can make at home by yourself without using too many uh, materials. So thanks for hanging out with me to got, oh, 
I forgot one. <laughs> oh, I forgot this one. This one's one of my favorites. You have um, toilet paper tubes at home. You can turn it into a cute heart with a rubber band on top and you can make some hearts as well. All right. <laughs> well, thank you again for hanging out and watching us. Me make these really fun stamps. Um, I can't wait to show you some more activities soon. Take care, guys. Bye. Go wash your hands. <laughs>